morning my friends it's very good to talk with you again this sunday uh, i hope again you all still doing very well i hope you manage to do things to show love to your family uh, members uh, and i hope uh, god has blessed you to understand more what love is and you can feel that in you you can feel that no i can actually show someone love i hope that's the case with you uh, today and then i want us to look at something different today you know uh, i want us to look at jesus being our best gift like ever okay um i know on christmas you get gift you know like uh, wrapped up you know and you know you open up you, wow this is you enjoy this you don't like this or, or whatever but now jesus is a gift that actually um you can't even box it you know you can't wrap it i mean it, it it's such a wonderful gift that is it's all there it's, it's a huge gift so there's no box for it there's no wrapper for it okay so at, at this point i want us to look at jesus um uh, choosing to die for us on a cross wow what a gift there for us the gift there for us is that we were supposed to be on that cross but Jesus chose to be on that cross for us. Wow, how wonderful is that? And then, while he was there on the cross, there were a lot of things happening. You know, and then people mockering him, saying, if you are God, uh, uh, st stop this whole thing. You know, but actually Jesus chose not to listen to them. Because in, in fact, if Jesus wanted he could have stopped everything right away, everyone, like, oh, you know, uh, killed everyone or just disappeared there on the cross. But he didn't know, he did not do that because he knew what he was doing for us. Because even while he was there on the cross, we find him, like, hanging there on the cross in pain, in agony, and saying, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. Wow, isn't that amazing? You know, even those people that were killing him, Jesus saying, Father, forgive them. You know, because he was dying for everyone. So there on the cross also, uh, uh, we find him, you know, uh, uh, with, with other two criminals, you know, because now Jesus was made a criminal. He was made uh, that he has done something wrong, even if it isn't, even though he didn't do anything wrong. Because the die, the the, the 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 death that he died was for criminals, and Jesus was not a criminal, so he was made a criminal. So us as criminals will be made righteous. How is that? You know. So and then with those two criminals. Of course, one of one of them didn't talk right. He talked badly uh, to Jesus, and then the other one warned the other one and say, "Hey, we deserve this. I mean, don't talk like that to to him, you know." But then this other criminal said, uh, "Please remember me," you know. And then Jesus made a promise to this guy, and he said. Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Wow. So, uh, we, we find this story from Luke uh, uh, chapter 23, uh, verse 33 to 43. You know, and then, so isn't this amazing gift that God died for us on a cross? You know, and then... Uh, of course, then he was buried. Then next week we'll talk about his his resurrection. But today I just want us to, to look at this gift. You know that uh, we were supposed to die, like just like that. But Jesus Christ died for us, and He showed us the love. You know, and then we ought to we we have to appreciate that wonderful gift that God. Uh, gave us 
uh, by dying for us on the cross. We really have to appreciate that. We really have to worship Him. You know, we really have to find it in our heart. And that, that uh, God forgave us. We are free. Uh, we are free of sin. We are free to, to, to share about His love to others. You know, and then let's appreciate that. How we appreciate that? We will be telling others about Jesus, that why he died on the cross. You know, he died on the cross so that uh, uh, our sins will be forgiven. Because we, we were supposed to be on that cross, but he was there for us. So that's such a wonderful gift, God. We are our, our like us this week to uh, have this in our heart, to appreciate this wonderful gift and, and like ask God, Lord, what can I do for you? And, you know, I'm sure the Lord will, 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 will speak to you through his word, uh, through uh, when you're listening uh, videos like this, you know, uh, he will tell, he will show you what can you do for him, you know, to show this appreciation, you know. Uh, but again, I want to remind you, we don't owe him. You know, uh, it was a free gift for us, a gift of salvation. It's a free gift. We didn't pay. You don't have to pay anything, uh, but you can show appreciation, you know, that, wow, thank you, Father, that you died for me on the cross. So let's, let's find it in our heart to show that appreciation by praising him, you know, lift up his name, you know, talk about him, love him. And I pray that God uh, will help you guys as you find it in your heart this week, you know, to praise the Lord and to worship him, to honor him, you know, and I would like to pray for us guys. Uh, Father, we thank you for dying for us on the cross and we really appreciate Father for what you did. I can't imagine what you went through, the pain even before you were crucified, you were beaten uh, badly and you had to walk uh, with the cross, Lord. and. And yeah, you had to carry it, and as hard it is to us, Father, and you pleaded so much, Father, for us, and and we thank you, Father, that Lord, you you, you accepted this call to die for us, Father. May we uh, appreciate that. May we have it in our heart to worship you, Father, and to bless your mighty name. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So next week, guys, uh, we having his diet hands so before i talk to you make sure uh, your parents have arranged some easter eggs for you and hid them uh, around the house or outside the, the lawn so find them before you come listen uh, our, uh, our our talk thank you so much guys thanks for listening